started out as a simple idea to plant trees and make Wellington County a little greener. With the help of the community, that simple idea has grown to over one million trees planted under the Green Legacy Program. Our green club is called Renegade Club Green because our school mascot is a renegade. So what we do is there's a primary club and a junior and intermediate club and we're just all about like helping kids um, help the environment. So we teach about recycling, like we go around to classes and tell them what they need to do. We help them plant trees through the Green Legacy program and we're all about just letting the school know like little ways they can help that can make a big difference. Everyone in our school planted a tree for the past few years. We have everybody pitch in, and the primaries, they plant in the little seeds, and then the juniors go to the nursery and transplant them, and then as intermediates, we plant trees too. So everybody in the school plants it, which is really great because we have like over 600 kids in our school, so that means that we're doing over 600 trees. And that's just is really great for the environment because every year we're just adding more. This is our third year winning the Gold School Award for everybody in the school planting a tree. So that's really great because everybody's doing their part. No matter how small or how tall, they're all doing their part to help the environment. Now one of the things that I want to show you guys are these little seeds. And these seeds that we're going to be planting today are pine seeds. And did you guys know that the white pine is our provincial tree? So that's a very important tree to us. I don't want to be living inside and there being smog everywhere and no trees and all the like flooding. I didn't want that. So I really want to get involved and make a difference. So in 10 or 20 years or even 50 years, I know I did my part to help the environment. So I want to know if anyone here can tell me why trees are important and why we're wanting to grow trees in our community. Yes. Um, because it helps the earth. It helps the earth, absolutely, yes. And it gives us oxygen. They give us oxygen, what a great answer, yes. And they help the earth uh, stay alive. They help the earth and us stay alive. That's right, those are very good answers. Trees do lots of things for us. They give us food, they give us shade, they help to keep our atmosphere cool as climate change is happening. So there's lots of different things that trees are doing for us, so they're very important. Here at the Green Legacy Tree Nursery, we grow hundreds of thousands of trees with students and a variety of different volunteers. And in this greenhouse, we're currently pushing all last year's trees from the small cells, and then the students transplant them in our transplant shelter. And then we're also uh, seeding all of the next generation of trees. When we're doing the, the seeding of the evergreens, we have a, a vacuum system where all the seeds, uh, when the vacuum is on, the seeds stick to the little holes and then you put it over top of the tray, the vacuum is cut and it drops all the seeds into the, the tray. This way we can efficiently and effectively uh, seed uh, 208,000 trees. So we have students help us by preparing the flats and then they go in to get seeded, then they water them, cover them with sawdust to prevent weeds and also to prevent the cells from drying out very quickly and then they set them up and then they're all ready to go and then they're just starting to germinate now our first ones. 30% of our trees are hardwoods. So a lot of the hardwoods are all the maples, sugar maple, silver maple, red maple, black maple, the ash trees like green and white ash. And then here we have started growing is our walnuts. Every day from April to mid-June we have a busload of kids come out to the nursery like we do today that are helping us grow the trees. Um, plus we have exchange students and a whole variety of different volunteers. This year we're looking to have over 3,500 volunteers which will put in about 15,000 hours. We give out uh, 150,000 plus seedlings a year, but uh, we also grow trees larger for a variety of different projects, for buffers of streams, and one of the big things that we're really doing right now is living snow fences. 
about 30 to 60 meters from the edge of the row, we put a line of, normally it's uh, white spruce. And what this does is it acts as a, a, a wind and snow barrier, drops all the snow out on the land, so then it doesn't drop it onto the road. We built our cooler underground. So other than this front face here, the rest of the building is all into the side of this hill. Once you go four to five feet under uh, the ground in this area, it's always about four degrees Celsius. So we take advantage of all the cool temperatures in the soil that are built up over the winter that leak into this building. So it takes very little energy to keep it cool at that two to four degrees Celsius. The size of this facility, we're actually able to hold about 250,000 plus trees in it. And that is the goal of the nursery is to eventually produce, we can get up to 250,000 trees here. My name's Rob. I work for the County of Wellington's Green Legacy Tree Nursery. And Matt here as well. So we're going to be helping you guys to plant. Uh, we have about 3,000 trees or so. So we'll plant as many as we can. grade sevens and eights here today and we're participating in the Green Legacy program. Today they are planting I guess for half a day and uh, one thing that we were discussing is how well the kids work hands-on and how they are really mm -hmm. starting Absolutely. to understand and connect with their environment. Um, one of the things that we were thinking too is it'd be nice if they could come back in 10 years yes. and see, yeah, their, and see their progress. The progress. Everybody's pretty much aware or a lot more aware than what they used to be yes. and I think it's just kind of a general attitude that's starting to come through with some of these kids just that whether it's tree planting whether it's uh, you know just recycling the, the small things that we can do that can make a big difference and I, I think they're starting to uh, display that good morning we're here to celebrate with this school because Wellington County has had 21 schools that achieved, achieved the gold award for the Green Legacy program. That means that every student in the school was participating in the tree growing program that the Green Legacy sponsors. They either planted seeds, they worked at the nursery, or they planted trees. Our club is the Green Club and we do things like pick up litter, have assemblies about recycling, and we help the kindergartens plant their seeds. Tree planting is important because it helps make oxygen and fresh air, which will make it easier for us to live and healthier. The Green Legacy helps make Wellington County greener. Legacy is not a word we use very much. It means to inherit something or for something to last a long time, something that goes on to the next generation. When I got married, I planted some trees, and they're not even as tall as the ceiling yet. They're still not just a little bigger than my house. So trees take a long time to grow. So the, the trees that we plant today are trees that are going to make a difference, not just for you, but for your kids and your grandkids when they get older. So it's a legacy. It's something that we're doing for the future when we plant these trees. And each of us can make a difference because it takes a lot of people to make a difference. Everybody has to do their part. And it's really good that everyone at this school has been able to take part. So I want to present you now with this Green Legacy flag that you can buy proudly out front to let everybody know that you're doing your part to, to plant trees and to make a difference for our community, not just for today, but into the future. Thank you very much. Today is a very special day in Centre Wellington. It's the annual Warden's Tree Planting Day. And we're very excited about it because we had rain all night, which is excellent for us because the ground's relatively soft for us to put 2,500 trees into this wetland area. We have about 130 people from the, from the county and from the township staff working, as you see, having a great day out here planting trees. 
We've had a, a really uh, a good working relationship and partnership with the Green Legacy project. It's been a complimentary one with trees for Mapleton. We have uh, about a 10% tree cover, which Environment Canada suggests 30% is, is a healthy environment. And so we had a lot of work to do. And so we started a, a project helping farmers uh, subsidizing windbreaks. And we looked at this intensive agricultural area and there aren't that many spaces, so to speak, but there's a, if you look at uh, planting trees strategically and windbreaks, uh, shelter belts, living snow fences, buffering streams, there's lots of space uh, for what we've projected to bring it up to 20%. Uh, we need 5 million trees in this area. And that one of the key things that we're looking at in the future, it's gonna help farmers stand off climate change we're much more resilient if we've got good tree cover. It started out as a simple idea. Since 2004, the Green Legacy Program has planted 999,999 trees. With, with the help of the community making, making it the largest municipality tree planting program in North America. So that's something too. Today we are here to celebrate the planting of that special one millionth tree. I started running last year, and uh, if you asked me if I could run 100 kilometers last year, I would have laughed and said, is that humanly possible? But then I heard about these ultra marathons, and this guy ran across the Sahara Desert, 7,000 kilometers, 111 days. And I thought, well, if he did it every day for 111 days, I can do it one day. I start to feel it now. Yeah. Now it's just dealing with the pain. I started at Mount Forest this morning at seven in the morning. So this mark is the 60 kilometer mark. And now I have another 40 to go to get to the nursery. And why I did this is one, I wanted everybody in the county and beyond to know what the County of Wellington has done with the Green Legacy Program. Because I'm pretty proud of what's happened and what's happening with education and the trees getting into the ground. What I wanted to do is challenge the community. I'm doing this challenge and uh, I wanted to challenge everybody to plant 10 trees in the county a year. So that's like half an hour to an hour. So less than an hour of your time a year, you plant 10 trees, we'll be planting a million trees a year. You know, every tree we plant is a gift to the next generation. The most important thing trees do is they moderate our climate. They take those bumps out, really hot, really cold, really wet, really dry, and they make it average, which allows us to grow crops, be sustainable and be productive. So we're aiming for that 30% tree cover, and I want to see it happen by 2030. It's really important that we keep our ecosystem green and have lots of trees so that animals can live and we can live a healthy life too. Planting is an act of putting down roots and contributing to the future. The simple act of planting a tree helps the environment in many ways. The Green Legacy Program will grow for many years to come. We're just getting started. Well